Hi, this is Kelly from Crafty Kelly's and today we're going to be making a Z box card. So this is a Z box card. So it's flat and then opens up and you've got all these layers. So it is a Z with the box in, so hence the name Z box card. It's really good fun and I've made this one um, sending smiles across the miles for my, one of my best friends who is doing a 26 mile walk in a day for Macmillan Cancer Research. So, you know, good on her. And I thought I would send her something to keep her going for her training because she's still got a month or so before she actually does it. So she's still training. So this is really fun card that I've made for her. And I'm going to show you how to make this box section and card and then you can decorate it however you want. So this is how I've done this one. I've got a second example just to show you, but I haven't done the middle box section, but you can do if you want. So I've just used balloons for a birthday celebration card. What's nice is these cards are really good fun. Right, let's get started. So you are going to need an A4 piece of thick cardstock. I've got a Whisper White thick card there. You can use any thick card, um, but it is a base, so you will need thick card. I've got a couple of extra pieces because um, I'm making a banner for this one, um, like this one. Uh, I've got a piece of uh, an inch and a half thick and an inch. Um, this part doesn't matter. It depends on how, how far you want your banner to come. You might just want a small part of it. Um, I've also got a couple of small cutoffs of the window sheets, but can you can use any kind of clear plastic. Um, you can't really see them <laughs> because they're see-through. <laughs> I've got a couple of those for this layered effect to kind of see so you don't really see that. But you can just use normal card if you want. Um, so here is my template I've drawn up. Um, I'll go through it with you quick. So we're going to cut at 11 inches and then we're left with this piece at the end. I'm going to use that so we'll pop that to one side. We're going to score it two and three quarter inches and we're going to score it five and a half inches. Now both pieces are going to be scored at the same point. We're going to cut two inches up from the bottom um, and then that will have, uh, this will be the part that we add in here. To make the box now um, once we've cut and, and we've already scored these pits we're left with this sliver that's left over and I've not done this in inches because it was easier to work out in centimeters so I've got nine centimeter piece and I've scored a centimeter in from each end and I've got two of those and that's what creates these little pieces to um, actually stick our window um, pieces onto Okay, so oh, let's grab this cutting board. So we are cutting at 11 inches. We are scoring at five and a half inches and scoring at two and three quarter inches. Then we're gonna trim off two inches. And there is what we need for our card. Then we're gonna cut this bit down. I'm first gonna score a centimeter, turn it round and cut it at nine centimeters and then score again a centimetre from the end. I'm going to do the same on both bits and I've just folded that up so you can see. So centimetres from the end, cut at nine centimetres and then score again at one centimetre. So now I'm going to help show you how to put the Z box card together. So I've got my pieces cut out. You can decorate them however you want. We're going to fold the card in half. We've got a full card base. Oh, I've got some tape down here. Be a bit careful. Then fold it back on itself. 
Then we've got that Z part of the card. With the strip, what I tend to do is, because this is the piece that's going to be across here, flip it over, fold it back on itself, back on itself again. And then we've got our piece. What we're going to do is we are going to attach those. I'm using a snail, you can use glue. So I know not to put too much um, in the wrong places because you don't want to do this full set. I close it up like this and add my adhesive. And then I only come up to this line here Now, you can place this high up, low down, it's entirely up to you. So I'm going to take this up to the edge. I'm not going to press down hard yet. And I'm going to close it all up, like so, trying to, once I'm happy, there we go. We've got our Z and we've created our box. So to create the little tabs to go on the inside, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to fold one tab in and fold one tab out. So they are going to fit into your box. So the tab facing away from you is on the box like so. So when you attach them, they close up and they close up flat. So I'm going to do the same to the other piece. Now I'm going to put glue and obviously the alternate sides. So Remember, this is facing away from you. So we're in that shape. And then I'm not going to press down hard yet. I'm going to just position, lightly press. And then position. And I'm only lightly pressing on these ones on the outside because what we're going to do, I'm going to make sure these are nice and loose. We're going to close up our card. And hopefully they would have positioned themselves. If they haven't quite, just give it a little wiggle. Put it down. You might want to use glue so you've got a bit more wiggle room, but I prefer using snail. So we've created our little areas that we can pop our designs on too. So that is how we do that. Nice and simple. So I'll, I'll go back to the one that I've started decorating. So I already stamped before I put it together, but uh, that's entirely up to you how you do it. Um, so now I'm going to start creating my scenery. I'm just going to bring in all my little bits. So I'm using, just to decorate this one, the Lift Me Up stamp set and uh, die cuts. So I've got various lots of different bits. To recreate the card I have made today, you will need the Lift Me Up stamp set, the up and away thin lit dies. The colours I've used are Tempting Turquoise, Island Indigo, Knight of Navy, Cherry Cobbler and Rich Razzleberry. You don't have to use all the colours I have, you can use just one or two, but I've just picked a couple of my favourites. But if you'd like to purchase anything I've featured in this video today, 
visit my blog and shop with me at Stampin' Up. So you can find me at www.craftykelly.co.uk. So here is the finished card with our layers and everything. Uh, so this is our template, how we made it. I will put up on my blog the measurements and template. So if you want to refer back to it, um, and you can find that at www.craftykelly.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And other than that, have a great day. Bye now.